continuing our conversations with creators of the work that's being shown at the San Diego Movie Awards. And I can only describe this man as a triple threat. He is the producer, he is the director, and he is the actor of Between Giants, Maxwell Frost. I got the name right. Maxwell, Between Giants, how would you describe your film? Well, it's a two-month bicycle trip we do in the Himalayas. Um, that goes terribly wrong in like every possible way. Um, short version is the guy I'm with on the trip ends up breaking his collarbone and gets a horse to finish the trip with. He names Bicycle. And it's just like this whole thing that <laughs> you can't even make this stuff up. What's the tone? Uh, the tone? The tone of it. Uh, the tone of it is we're both kind of very dry humor. So we're laughing at the insanity of the world and the life that we're currently living in on this trip. Because it's just over the top, sights, smells. I mean, we're in the Himalayas, so the mountains are gigantic. Um, and the music's beautiful, the people are absolutely beautiful. So it's this really cool experience where you're in this moment where it's one of the coolest places on the planet, but it just seems like everything is going wrong. So it's kind of the story of two friends just figuring it out as we go. It's the buddy movie and it's a road movie, but I want to backtrack a little bit. You're just sitting around saying, um, let's just do a bike trip through the Himalayas. I, I don't get that. Yeah, it's not really a thing. Like, there's no books for that. You can't Google it. Um, but I've, I was guided rock climbing, ice climbing, snowboarding, mountaineering, and mountain people just end up going to the Himalayas. So I knew it was something I was going to do eventually. And um, on a bike, it just made sense because a bike, it's cool because when you uh, enter a village, people are like, well, I own a bike or my friend owns a bike. So it's a really cool place Instantly to meet. Instantly relatable. Yeah, people, and then people end up inviting you into their house for dinner and then you end up staying at their house. And at one point we ended up with a dance party with 40 guys in an apple farmer's truck bay. So it's, it's like just leads to all these a, crazy things. It's kind of an unscripted documentary style. It's shot documentary style, right? Correct, yeah, but it's documentary style. So the, the story is, the two months biking through the Himalayas, that's like the physical story. But we're also in a, both in a similar place in life where life just blew up. So we're going to the Himalayas hoping to experience healing that we're looking for as well. Without giving away too much of the movie, do you achieve that state of healing? We do, and it's from a pretty unlikely source. It's really the Indian people that we just keep meeting along the way and their incredible generosity and kindness and hospitality. We experience the healing that we, spoiler alert, that we were looking for. So you, it's unconventional because this isn't a scripted film and it's done documentary style, but what were some of the challenges that you encountered in actually not only filming it, but in the post? Yeah, post-production was tough, to be honest. Um, I've done several short films, but never a feature film. And at no point are we in a studio with a controlled environment with lights or audio or anything else. So it's one of those things now, my next feature film, I'll know to not just think we'll fix it in post. <laughs> <laughs> Famous last words, oh we'll God. fix it in post. Especially as a, like, I, I just kind of, I did it to myself though, as the director <laughs> and the editor. <laughs> so I can't get mad at anyone except myself. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine some of that audio must have been pretty hairy. Oh yeah, there's some pretty gnarly wind scenes where we ended up having to redub it, and um, yeah, it was a learning process. I, I don't have a degree in film, so for me, it was it was a cool. It was basically like I just chalked it up to as a learning experience. What kind of reception are you getting? Is this how many festivals have you entered? So we have 27 awards in 11 countries. Holy mackerel! Yeah, it's it's pretty it's it's completely humbling, really. Do you uh, see it going from the festival circuit to a streaming platform? What's next? Yeah, so we've been on the festival circuit for about six or seven months now, um, and now we're we have, we're in some talks with distribution about distribution. How about a sequel? Maybe going to another country, more yeah. bikes? So that's what I'm working on right now. It was a month-long bicycle trip on frozen Lake Baikal in Siberia, which is the biggest lake in the world by volume. So we, You've already done that? Yeah, we did. I'm editing it right now. Yep. Oh my gosh. How about a, 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 the third, how about a third road movie with a, with a female protagonist? <laughs> <laughs> we do have females in this, this next film. Because that is important, for, for sure. Um, yeah. 
sounds wonderful. I can't wait to see it. The movie is called Between Giants, and it screens tomorrow at the Museum of Photographic Arts. It's part of the San Diego Movie Awards. And Maxwell, what time is it screening? 7.45. 7.45, and Maxwell Frost and his collaborators will be here for the Q&A. And gosh, that's going to be really I'm interesting. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Okay. They'll fix it in post. <laughs> fix it in post. <laughs>